24 years old. I am driving a Datsun 180p. I'm sitting on 100 and then 10. But I'm itching to go faster. Itching to get home. But the cops are up and down this stretch and I don't want to risk it. I'm headed back to my parents' farm. I tried this idiot. It didn't work. It's not for me. Too fast. Too sharp. My dad's phone is where I belong. He'll be waiting at the gate. Pretend to fix the fence. Mom will be in the kitchen. She's not so sure. She doesn't think there's such a great future on the land. We've messed it up. She says, we've done the wrong thing. But nobody else believes her. A visionary, my mom. Simple woman, but a visionary. So I'm sitting on 110 and this Ford passes me. <sighs> Doing 140 in least. Hate that. Idiot. I say idiot. Hate getting past. You're doing the right thing and somebody passes you and it makes it feel like you're 50 years old or something. <sighs> and 30 K's out of town. I come around a bend and there she is, the Ford, wrapped around a tree with steam coming out of her bonnet. I pull over. I get out. I move toward the car. There's, I don't want to look. There's blood on the windscreen and I bend down. The driver is mincemeat. But there's a girl in there. She's moaning. There's blood all over her face. Hey, I say, hey, can you hear me? And her eyes open and she can see me. Just for a moment, she sees me, and then her eyes start to fade. I know that look. I, I've seen a sheep die, I've seen dogs die, I've seen my grandma die, I know that look. So I reach in and I grab her hand, and I say, hey, wake up, stay with me. And her eyes flick open, and I can feel the faint pressure of her hand holding mine back. I say, hey, hey. Christ, where's the help? Where's the fucking cars? Why isn't there a siren? Where's the fucking cars? And she's quiet, too quiet. And I'm squeezing her hand hard. I'm squeezing so hard. I'm not letting you go. And she's, she's trying to say something. I see her lips moving. So I reach in as far as I can, get into like the twisted metal of it. And really quietly, she says, You're hurting my hand. <laughs> and I laughed. Probably not the right thing to do. I mean, there's some guy dead beside her, you know, but it was a relief. I knew she was gonna be all right. So I eased up the pressure a bit and I ask her what her name is. I say, hey, what's, what's your name? And she says, Yabria. What? I say, Gabriel, biblical. And I knew she was safe. Cheers, James.